name is Dennis Freilich. I am an assistant professor of mass communications at Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. I'm an artist and I have ulcerative colitis. I actually began my undergrad career in architecture. It wasn't what I thought it was and I really enjoyed making videos and writing and anything media related and so I switched into communications. Toward the end of my junior year, this was in 2007, I started having uh, pain in my stomach. I started having a lot of diarrhea, uh, some bleeding, and at the end of that summer was when I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. At that point we decided to uh, have surgery, so I had my colon removed. After my first surgery, I had all this recovery time, and so during that, that time period I said, well, let, why don't I just get back into uh, some art. I'm just going to try something. And so I bought some canvases and got all my old paints and brushes and things like that and uh, set something up and really didn't have any clear direction of what I wanted to do with it. Uh, but I just started putting the colors on the, on the canvas and really liked the way they mixed together. And from there, uh, the ideas just unfolded. One thing I really discovered with my paintings is how much I enjoyed creativity. And so I really fell in love with creating things, making things, to counter that destruction that I was literally living with you know, every day, trying to look past my pain and, and the struggles of the illness. So when I'm painting, the subjects that I return to most often is skies. And so when I was discovering my painting after my, after my surgeries, I was really trying to look past sort of my daily earthly struggles with illness, trying to find the, the important things in life, trying to find uh, what gave me value, what gave me meaning, and so I, I tried to, to, to look up. I started origami in high school, so around the same time I started doing paintings, and for a long time that was really my, my artistic focus. Painting is very easy to uh, approach when I have an idea. I have total control over what appears on the canvas. Origami is much more limited, but over time when I start to learn what the paper can do and what it can't do, it's like a, a whole new world is opening up. In my position as a instructor of mass communication, we create lots of media and I, I try to impress upon the students just go out there and, and create things. It doesn't matter what you make, just make something um, and I think that's where people find their passion. You know, as far as Dennis is concerned, you know, I really spotted pretty quickly that he was multifaceted, multi-talented. That just kind of shines through, and I think that's part and parcel of, you know, why he is effective as both an instructor and an advisor to our students. There are these concerns about, well, how is this going to affect my life and, and the things that I want to do? And so I'm trying to, to live life as full as I can, uh, be successful not only in my career but with you know spending time with people investing in people trying to find time for for the art because you never know what it what it's going to lead to